Hello YouTube. Uh, today we're going to go over our new uh, Versa trailer that we uh, bought from DR. Um, just picked it up last Thursday. Uh, came into a freight terminal near uh, where where I live and went over and picked that up with a pickup. Um, and it's a full pickup load when it comes in. Now it comes in a crate, uh, a very nice crate that's welded together. Um, and uh, it, it really protects the unit, but you, you really need some equipment to get the crate out of a pickup. Uh, I happen to have a forklift, but it was still a bugger because I got short forks on the forklift. Uh, but anyway, after a little work, we, we got her out of there. Uh, took about three hours maybe to put the unit together. The directions were, were really good. Uh, if you're one of those people that reads directions, I don't like to read directions, but in this case, I highly recommend it. Let's walk around the, the trailer once. Um, it's inside a building, so I got limited space, so you'll see some wide angles. But uh, you can still see the plastic on the uh, outside, the protective plastic film to keep it from scratching. It's nice that it's there, but it's, uh, it takes a while to peel it off. I'm tempted to leave it on on this trailer, uh, but something tells me if you leave it on and it gets scratched up, it's really going to be hard to get off, so I'll probably peel it. Um, but you know, I think you're looking at two to three hours just to get that plastic off of the box. Uh, I bought this trailer for uh, hauling, hauling firewood and logs. I have a little sawmill. Um, so I, I, and I'll do a review on it after I've used it. Um, but all in all, the assembly went well. Uh, the, the construction I'm happy with. I, I think it's pretty heavy duty. Uh, the mast, I see a few issues. The mast and the boom, uh, you have to keep the boom really, really tilted high up in the air to tilt the box. Um, and that, that's going to be a problem if you want to bring it inside. You're going to have to always remember to lower the mast unless you've got a really high garage door. Um, but just one of those things that you'll get used to as time goes on. Um, most of the parts fit together well. I've got one defective part that I'm going to call DR on. It's, it's one of these, what they call a stabilizer, I'd call it a downrigger. Uh, the one on this side works good, the one on the other side, uh, the, the part wasn't machined properly so it doesn't slide in there. Um, but I, I, what I've heard of DR is a standby and everything. I'm sure they'll, uh, they'll fix me up with a new stabilizer arm and leg. Um, the hitch uh, is nice. It, it, uh, I can really see where the, the rotating hitch for rugged terrain will be a plus, whether either pulling it with a tractor, uh, which is probably what I'll do in my case, a compact tractor. Um, I, I don't see pulling this thing with a, with a four-wheeler. Um, it's rated for 2,000 pounds, and I'd sure hate to be on a hill with this thing full of 2,000 pounds of product and pushing on a four-wheeler. Uh, but the tractor will handle it real nice, I know it will. Um, yeah, so so there you have it, three hours to put it together. Uh, good looking machine, uh, the neighbors will all be in love with it, I'm sure, when they see it. And uh, we'll give you a review after we've used it. Um, and uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching.